Hi, my name is Tim Parsley, and I am one of the artists behind one of the Art This Way murals that was painted last year. I'm also the Associate Professor of Painting and Drawing and Chair of the Art Department at the University of St. Francis. Uh, as an artist, I normally work in painting, drawing, collage, and my work deals primarily with American history, but not in a traditional sense. I like to take American history and break it apart and put it back together again to evoke new questions or meanings um, or interpretations. This mural uh, depicts a portrait of the poet Walt Whitman from the 19th century. He is reclining back uh, with his hands tucked into his heavy overcoat. He is looking at us with a full gray beard and he has a look of both knowing and perhaps a bit of tiredness in his eyes. He's wearing a wide brimmed hat and above that wide brim hat is a fountain, a, a bouquet of flowers that just continues to issue upward and then cascade forward. Whitman is painted in black and white but the flowers are in full bloom and they are colorful and they continue to expand as they flow and cascade to the left, consuming the rest of the space of the mural. It is backed by a bright blue sky color and the idea behind the piece was to convey how the poet or the artist is able to sort of issue forth beauty, creation, a sense of something new and lively. From that poem by Whitman called Poets to Come, he writes, Poets to come, orators, singers, musicians to come, not today is to justify me and answer what I am for, but you, a new brood, native, athletic, continental, greater than before known, arouse, for you must justify me. That's the title of the piece, Arouse for You Must Justify Me. And I like that concept and I like what Whitman stands for because today we live in a conflicted time where our own country is very divided and polarized. And the question I think that can be asked is what does the art, what do the arts have to contribute to that? Is change possible? Is a new way of thinking about things possible? And Whitman brought a voice into his culture that wasn't about the guns he wielded or the politics he had power to sway, uh, but rather his art. He brought his art into that time and spoke for people uh, in a way that inspired, challenged, uh, reminded them of the beauty that was around them. And I believe that that's something that we can do today. And so this piece is meant to call our attention to the past and perhaps what we do today as artists is, through our own art, justify what Whitman was doing in his day as well. For more information, go to artthiswayfw.com.